Hola, Resirenas, High Kings and Queens. Happy New Year. Um, I pray that this year we have new revelations, not resolutions. I mean, if that works for you, that's great. But I truly believe that the way that we get um, evolvement and growth, because many of us can change, but if we change, there can always be a change back. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you get New Year's revelations. Maybe you got them last year or yesterday. And I just pray that you take them into today, which is 2024. And I pray that I find you excited um, with your revelations. May you make change and involvement because I'm telling you that wherever it is that we grow, you don't shrink back. Like you can't, when you grow, like you outgrow a shoe, you can never go back to the smaller size because you are growing. You've grown. Change, there's always going to be a change back. However, um, I just pray that you get great involvement and growth because where you grow, there's pain, there's challenge. But um, wherever there's change, wherever there's not change, excuse me, wherever there is growth, there's going to be pain. As many of you know, when you're growing, you're getting taller, there's pain. Why is there pain? Because growing is going to challenge you to the point, I mean, even if you're at the gym and you're pushing weights and you're lifting weights and it hurts, there's power in that pain because there's going to be growth in that pain. So I pray that that blesses you and I pray that today I find you in great health. I'm telling you, I am feeling under the weather, under the weather, I'm feeling sick. Um, I did go to the gym. Who would go to the gym when they're not feeling well? This woman right here. <laughs> so I just pray that I find you with great excitement and expectancy for 2024. But more than anything that even if you're feeling ill, um, I pray that you take this time to rest and recover because that's what I'm about to go do. I just wanted to go live right quick um, because I am not feeling well. I need to get rest and recovery, especially because um, it's New Year's. Come on, you got to get take care of yourself. Take care of yourself as me. So. I pray that I find you with expectancy, and if I don't find you with expectancy, I pray that I leave you with expectancy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we open in prayer, and I thank you, Father, for life today. I thank you for each and every one of you that is under the sound of my voice. I pray, Lord, that um, they get at value added to their lives, and that today you leave us greater than what you found us. Thank you for your unearned, uncommon, undeserved, miraculous favor of faith knowledge wisdom preferential treatment father so therefore we can be preferential treatment to others around us to be bridges to elevate to be knowledge to grow and educate people around us father and thank you for your uncommon um, knowledge wisdom revelation insight and clarity and that we we grow this year um, and we take the growth from last year and that we grow this year and we take that and that we evolve into what you created us to evolve into, create, and fulfill, and more than anything, to have a deeper trust and uh, intimacy with your presence daily, Father, in the name of Jesus. We lay down all of our burdens. We lay down our illnesses. We lay down our stresses. We lay down whatever 2023 may have tried to put fear in us. We pray that we are obedient and that we don't lean on our understanding, Father. And more than anything, Father, we thank you for the new identity that we have in you. In you, Jesus Christ, have your way, Lord. And we thank you for today's devotion. And we thank you for the intimacy, the protection, the peace, and the prosperity that you have for us today and every day of 2024. That this will be the greatest life, the greatest <clears throat> year of our lives with having you as a deeper, deeper instruction, a deeper, deeper trust in you, Father, to protect us and to give us joy, peace, and a great, great faith, Father, that will override or overcome or be victorious over any fear that we've had in 2023 and that we just conquer that with your presence in jesus mighty name have your way lord we honor you we thank you today's title is new identity in new identity in jesus bring it holy spirit today's scripture is from first john 3 1 which reads see what great love the father has lavished on us amen thank you father for the great love that you lavish us with and may we be lavishing for seeking your love and that we may be lavishing and generous in giving your love wherever you've called us to serve may we be obedient and love generously in our spirits and our minds and even physicality father would you give us may we be blessings to others and not lean on our own understanding father in jesus name remove any fears any confusion clear it all up lord we thank you for leaving this devotion with a greater trust in you and a greater knowing you and to be an example of the way you lived in this life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me begin. So this is New Identity in Jesus. And it reads, I'm not one. I'm not who I once was. Amen. Period. I'm a new person. Those simple words from my son spoken to students at a school assembly describe the change God made in his life. <clears throat> 
excuse me, once addicted to heroin, Joffrey previously saw himself through his sins and his mistakes. Now he sees himself as a child of God. Amen. The Bible encourages the Bible encourages us with the promise, if anyone in Christ, the new cre creation has come, the old has gone. The new is here. Exclamation point. No matter what we've been, no matter who we've been or what we've done in our past, when we trust Jesus for our salvation and receive the forgiveness offered through his cross, we become someone new. Since the Garden of Eden, the guilt of our sins has separated us from God, but he has now reconciled us to himself through Christ. Thank you, Lord. Not counting our sins against us. Oh, Father, thank you for your grace and your mercy. We are his dearly loved children. You can read on that on 1 John 3, 1 through 2. Wash clean and made new in the likeness of his son. <clears throat> Jesus liberates us from sin and its dominating power and restores us into a new relationship with God. Where we're free to no longer live for ourselves, but for him who died for us and was raised again. Amen. On this New Year's Day, let us, let's us let remember that his transforming love compels us to live with the new identity and purpose. Amen, Father. Receive it in your spirits. Receive it in your spirits. <clears throat> in Jesus' name. It helps us point others to our Savior, the one who can make them new people too. Today's questions read, what does it mean to you that a new beginning is possible with God? <clears throat> What that means to me is that every day when I surrender my day to, to God or I surrender my career or I surrender my business, I surrender my soul, my spirit, um, what it gives me is it gives me the hope to know that what I may have defaulted in or whatever I may have made my mistake in yesterday or even in the mistakes that I may make today, that God is always revealing to me and clarifying to me things that I'm making mistakes in and where they're coming from, where they're, they're rooted from, whatever it is that I've done. And I'm like, why did I do that? And I apologize to someone when I fail them or maybe I just having a bad day or maybe there's just something that is not right. And I say something to someone that could be offensive or if I just do something that I just feel convicted in, I know that there's always a chance to make it right now when you say things how you make people feel is very important but what god is revealing to me is that when you apologize and you change your actions it's a new beginning and it's the same thing with god when we ask for forgiveness and there's areas where we because i always feel that where we apologize you know i i want to know like where is that rooted from why did i do what i do i have a moment of reflection and i ask the lord to reveal to me where i need healing where did that come from? Where did that offense that I did to someone or where did that hurt come from? That pain, something that was hurt in me caused me to hurt someone else. Or sometimes it's just things that we do subconsciously because it's maybe something that we always experience or it's just something normal to us. And I'm asking God, like, give me the breath of life. Give me your way of loving. Give me, give me your way of like disciplining me so I can understand what it is that I'm doing wrong so I can fix it, so I can get delivered from whatever it is, so I can get healed, so I can have a new beginning, I can have a renewed mind, whatever it is I need to unlearn, help me, Father, and reveal it to me, clarify it to me. That's why I'm always praying that we get revealing, you know, we get knowledge, we get clarity, perspectives, ideas, and strategies. All of these things are guided instructions and things that the Lord reveals to us, so therefore we can be more Christ-like, so therefore we can get the healing that we need in our minds, in our hearts, or in our spirits, because that's very important to know that when he reveals things to you, you have a new beginning. There's a hope revealed to you that I don't want to live this way anymore. I don't want to do this anymore, Father. I'm hurting you. I'm hurting myself. I'm hurting my family. So to me, that's what gives me a new beginning with God um, to make my wrongs right, but also to forgive like the Lord forgives me, but help me to forgive myself because I've realized and I've learned that many of us we're forgiven by God, but we don't forgive ourselves and we pray it over and over in our minds. And if we don't bring the Holy Spirit into our minds and pray and ask God to give us that hope and that renewing that only he can give us, then you will stay stuck in the same life cycle. You will stay stuck in the same mentality because the main thing that I cannot stress enough is that as a man thinketh is what he will become. If you feel that you're a sinner and you feel you fall in condemnment and you just stay in that mindset, you're going to continue doing what you're doing because you're not going to believe that there's a new beginning. You're not going to believe that, that, that God can renew your mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. 
I'm sorry that I'm like coming across and I'm like not feeling well. I'm trying to get it. Bring it, Holy Spirit. <laughs> and I know I look a little exhausted because I am. But um, I just pray that whatever it is that you need a new beginning in, it all begins with your mind and your heart. Wherever it is that it needs to be renewed, that your mind affects your actions. Your heart affects your mind. Your, it affects everything, your heart. What comes from your heart will come from your mouth. It'll come from your actions, what you do. Hurt people, hurt people. It's important that you get healing and you get deliverance. And more than anything, you get a revealing. And that's why I pray that you don't make resolutions. You ask the Lord to reveal to you what you need to change from 2023, 2022. That you need to change from your past. So therefore, you can change for your future. But not only change, evolve. Let me correct it. Evolve. What it is that you've done in 2023. What do you need to grow from? What do you need to get delivered from? So therefore, 2024 can be an involvement, a growth. It can be a, a new beginning. It can be a new rev revelation. And revelation is when you get a revealing of something. When the veil is removed. When you're like, wow, I see that for that. Something happens in your life and you're like, you see what caused you to do that. That is power right there. That is the power of the Holy Spirit that can reveal to you what you need to change. What it is that you, what have I been doing? What is driving me to do the things that I've been doing that are not adding to my future? I always say, do something today that tomorrow is going to thank you for. Because that is ultimately how the Lord wants us to live. How is our future going to thank us? What are our past actions thanking for, thanking us for today what have you done in the past you're like man i'm glad i did that because look at today i'm i'm reaping my harvest of what god had told me to do in 2023 i'm going to reap in 2024 if you continue doing the same thing what are you reaping if you keep getting chaos and you keep getting division and you keep getting broke financially mentally or spiritually you're just drained obviously you're not doing things that are going to add to your life obviously you're not doing things that are going to add to your finances you're not growing or, or you're probably like changing for the day and then you change back and you go back to do the same things i always think now because i used to celebrate by drinking and getting intoxicated and now i'm like this is the first year that i got to literally pray at midnight with my family and um i'm so thankful that you know we were under one roof and we got to pray and uh, we started the new year in prayer and just covering ourselves and, and bringing the Holy Spirit into the new year with us. Because when I used to drink, I was like, what, what was I celebrating? <laughs> or what was I trying to forget? Maybe I was trying to forget things that happened in 2023 and thinking, oh, okay, well, if I get intoxicated, you know, I'll forget what happened. However, the next day, it's still there. That's why I say there's deliverance and dilemmas. There is great purpose in your pain. What is it that caused you pain? Is it some actions that you did yourself? Maybe sometimes... You're doing the right thing and the bad things happen. God will give you knowledge and wisdom out of those things. They're happening to grow you. God ultimately wants you to know there's a new beginning. And the life that you've been living, if you don't like it, then ask God to reveal it to you. So that's why I pray that this New Year's that you have a great revelation. This is going to be a New Year's revelation in Jesus' name. 2024 adds to 8. 8 biblically is new beginnings. God is trying to speak to you. He's trying to show you. I pray in the name of Jesus that you get revealing revelations in the name of Jesus wherever you go. That you see people. That the Lord brings you relationships. That he brings you miraculous signs and wonders. In Jesus mighty name. The second question is how can you live as his new creation? As I've mentioned, if you want new in your life, you've got to release the old. The old relationships that he's called you to let go of. You keep on seeing chaos. You keep on seeing heartbreak. You keep on seeing things in your life. And you're like, why does this keep happening to me? Why is it every New Year's I have this great expectation, this great excitement? And then all of a sudden, in a month, two months, three months, you're like sad or drained again. Because there's things that you need to grow from. God has probably already outgrown you from relationships. He's outgrown you from that career that that career has already brought you what it needed to bring you you need you you're outgrowing it just like a shoe if it doesn't fit anymore and you keep putting it on it's going to be painful and you won't be able to operate in your full potential because you're going to be operating in pain if you've outgrown the relationship you've outgrown the career you've outgrown that bank account that is just not meeting the things that you needed to meet you need to lean out in areas you need to sacrifice in areas so therefore you can put on a shoe you can put on whatever it is and it's tailored for you when you're outgrowing things it's a good thing it just will become painful it will become um chaotic in your life because you don't fit there no more maybe it's a friendship maybe maybe it's just that you're in your marriage you keep on 
just it's painful why is it so painful maybe because you're one of you is out one of you is growing and doesn't want to do the same things y'all used to do back then and you're like well i like doing this this is the same thing you know maybe you're outgrowing that maybe your your spouse is trying to take you to a new level and maybe you're like no that mentality you have that still that small mentality and your partner could be getting revelation and trying to take you to the new level but you don't want to lean out in certain areas i don't know who that's for but i pray that that blesses you that if your partner's trying to lean out save finances so you can multiply them and invest them properly maybe you're like no i, I want to do this i want to buy this i want to do this i want to travel maybe your partner is trying to invest properly lean out because maybe the lord is laying it in their hearts to prepare for some opportunity that is on its way so i pray that the lord gives you great revelation and that you recognize how you can live as his new creation is by being obedient you want evolvement you want growth you're feeling pain in your life you're feeling labor pains and you're like why is this maybe you're trying to birth something maybe god has put something in your spirit in your heart in your mentality that you're trying to birth it it's painful when you're going to give birth to a child it's painful but as soon as you you give birth to your baby and you look and you're like wow your your reward is is great it's like your reward is worth all the pain you've been through but if you keep living in pain and you keep living in this chaos and division and you're like you're outgrowing your life already maybe there's things that you need to you need to grow from and you need to change them so i pray that this blesses you and i pray that this prayer really gives you great revelation clarity insight ideas and strategies to create a new new beginning for your life and that you recognize that you are a new creation maybe you're reading the bible and you don't get it go to church find a bible-based church that will explain things to you that has community groups that will help you and and encourage you hold you accountable help give you some therapy and help you to realize that you are a new creation you have to read his word if you want new you want hope you want evolvement ask god to reveal to you what you need to where you've outgrown things why is this so painful? There's pain because you've outgrown a person. You've outgrown a relationship. You've outgrown a career. You've outgrown that business. You've outgrown something. And I pray that the Lord gives you clarity, clears up any confusion. And I pray that he gives you great revelations today in the name of Jesus. May you leave this video and whatever comes to mind right now, right now, whatever comes to mind, Holy Spirit, give them the boldness and the courage to to follow your instruction, your divine instruction, and to read your word in Jesus' name. <coughs> excuse me my throat heal me father today's prayer is abba father thank you for sending your son to save us amen father thank you please send us someone to someone who needs you to send us to someone father that will we will serve them we will be acknowledged we will be loved we will be uh held accountable in the name of jesus please send us to someone who needs you to father in the name of jesus may we be the hands and feet for you father everywhere we go and if you have not been saved and don't have a relationship with god <coughs> excuse me repeat after me father in the name of jesus forgive us of our sins help us to forgive ourselves and more than anything lord we pray that we make you lord over our lives we want to live with for your divine instruction with your divine instruction be with us every day of our lives father may we surrender everything to you thank you for coming into our hearts and saving us and forgiving us of our sins help us to forgive us thank you for your knowledge wisdom and clarity peace protection and prosperity father that only comes from you thank you for your divine wisdom for us to have spiritual discernment to live for you to remove and add in our lives father wherever we need to where we need to add and remove in our lives spiritually mentally physically or emotionally lord Thank you for healing us and saving us of ourselves. May we go out into the world and speak of your glory to help get others saved. May we be healed to heal others in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that is hurting in us and we are hurting others, reveal it to us, Father. Help us get deliverance from it if we need relationships to help us, if we need doctors, Lord. Help us to receive and seek where we need to, to get the relationships we need to encourage us, hold us accountable evolve us but more than anything for us to be surrounded with your presence and have others in unified prayer with us so we can be in agreement and have your spirit and be unified and coexist with your holy spirit in jesus mighty name may this prayer bless you and may you be saved in jesus christ um we honor you we thank you father and remember you're a king or queen reign responsibly if you're feeling sick get rest and recovery responsibly because that's what i gotta do uh we honor you lord and i just thank you that that you know that you're a king or queen and that the Lord gives you a great revealing to recognize where you need to reign responsibly. Whatever it is that God is calling you to do responsibly. Love on your family more. Prioritize your family. Prioritize time with the Holy Spirit, with God. Read your word. Hear some worship music. Add or remove where God has called you to reign responsibly. Love responsibly. Add or remove responsibly. You're a king or a queen. 
Don't forget that, that you're reigning over a community, a family. You're their influence. And may you, wherever God raises or expands your influence territory, may you reign responsibly. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Thank you for your time invested. Excuse me for feeling the weather. Thank you for your prayers. I know I'll be healed soon in Jesus' name, so I'm going to get rest and recovery. God bless you. I love you. Remember, this too shall pass. What are you learning? And remember, happy new years. Happy new revelation for 2024. New beginnings. 2024 adds up to eight. Look it up. Research it. And biblically, it is new beginnings. You cannot become a new creation without allowing the Holy Spirit to renew your mind and your heart and your spirit and your soul. God bless y'all. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.